Yo, what's up guys? It's Pi with the Crypto Pi, and today is a very special day, guys, because it's May the twenty second. All right, and exactly eight years ago, a programmer called Laszlo Hanyax, right? He ordered two pizzas from another dude called that uh, lived in Jacksonville, Florida, and he paid him ten thousand bitcoins, guys. All right. 10,000 bitcoins even at price of $8,000 that would still be 80 million dollars for just two pizzas guys isn't that crazy that's only eight years ago so anyways guys I thought that you know it's definitely a day in the cryptocurrency world that is very special to us 22nd of May guys don't forget all right that is the day that the the, the programmer he just ordered two pizzas basically for um, 10,000 bitcoin all right so that is how far we've come guys anyways um let's go into the charts and you know take a look at really what's going on all right as except for uh you know these these fun facts that happened so um yeah um if we look at the six hour guys this is if this actually bounces here um i'm happy okay um and i'm gonna tell you why so if we look at the six hour and we'll um we'll put a fibonacci on here very simple Right, we take the the low and we take this high here. Uh, then we basically we penetrated through that six one eight a little bit under six five, but um, after that, guys, um, basically if we close here, then we're closing good, right? We're closing good. Uh, I mean, I'd like to see a bit more volume, but hey, um, we can't have it all, right? So yeah, uh, that's the six hour for you. And if we look at the the three hour, like, like I told you guys yesterday, it's a, it's a really important time frame to look at because basically the whole Ichimoku cloud on the three hour guys with the settings of 20, 60, 120 and 30 are very important. So um, yeah, we need to pinch through this cloud and uh, get above it, right? That is what we're working on. So um, that is what we need to get to. So. Uh, if we look at the one hour here guys, you can see a lot more detail, right? Uh, basically, we had this this Well, you could say this is a one and then you get a two and then a three four and a five So uh, we're gonna look at how we can potentially get this uh, This three filled, right? Uh, I, I don't think we'll get all the way up here with that um, with only this but uh, we can definitely get to a good point here so a one a two and a potential three up here uh yeah around, around here i mean you can see the the resistance there negative six one eight as well we'll look at the fib extension in, in a moment guys and then from there you know we'll, we'll go back down a little bit again and then have a fifth wave uh, right around uh nine maybe 10k all right, I mean, well, no, thank you. Mm. Actually, this is also possible, guys, that the three is going higher, four is like that, and then we will actually hit the 10K once again. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see what, what happens, right? But if we bounce here, guys, that's a good sign, right? Because then we get a, a within this, this bigger third wave that I've been talking about for a while, We'll get a smaller third wave as well because of this right i mean you can you, all right so let's make this one yellow so you know we can see it a little better but um what i mean is uh you know we've had a higher high local high right this this was the local high here we have a higher local high here we have a higher uh, local low if this is the low so then it's just uh, bullish behavior guys and that's what we want to see so um yeah, I know it's scary for some people, but uh, if you know how to chart, guys, and if you, you know, you just do your uh, technical analysis, you'll be just fine looking at this. So, um, yeah, no, nothing really to worry about. But what what I do tell you guys is, uh, if you if you are paying for trading view, you can put the three hour on there. Definitely look at that three hour Ichimoku cloud. All right, we need to get into that. Um, so uh yeah just look forward to that i mean we need to get into that guys if we drop lower um you know which is also a possibility uh the next uh 
point of interest is the 786 here at 8080 right so um, you can see 8080 is right here so uh, the, you can also see a lot of price action there so that is your next point of interest guys but uh, for now this is our low and even if it would go to 786 that's still a higher low guys so still nothing to worry about you only have anything to worry about if you make a lower low all right that I cannot stress that enough so um, people who just scare you know that get scared for no reason um, that that's really for no reason because if you don't make a lower low guys there's there's honestly nothing to worry about all right so um, yeah we just want to see higher lows and higher highs and uh, that's what we're seeing right now so yeah I'm I'm, I'm pleased with this okay um, I mean yes it could have definitely went a little more bullish and bounce from this 0.5 so we would never drop out of this cloud because now both on the the one hour HMO cloud as well right so guys if you're not paying for trading view which uh, I know a lot of you guys aren't then you can look at the one hour as well we also need to get into that one so um, yeah I mean just uh, keep keep the lower time frames in mind right now guys uh, I know the higher time frames are definitely indicating a lot more you know, I mean, uh, I still got this planned here at 12k and stuff, but uh, the lower ones will tell you what's going on right now. So, yeah, definitely look at the one hour HMO Cloud as well. Just the one hour, do your analysis, put some Fibonacci's on there, and uh, yeah, just take a look at what where it's going. Oh, yeah, and I said I would also look at the Fibonacci extensions, right, in order to see if this is uh, all possible. So, if we, we got this low here. And then we'll have this high right around there and we'll have uh, this low right there right so um, what we see here is that the the three here for me is at the 1.618 right, right around there um, and then the four will it doesn't really matter and it, the five will be around that 2.272 around that 97 um, that is a possibility another possibility is a little lower guys um, if we take it just all like a step back and then you get like that 9.3 scenario but um, let's be bullish guys and I'll put it at the 1.618 um, put this one right there and uh, put this at the 2.272 so um, that is the more bullish scenario and then we got the less bullish scenario which is not very but it's just less bullish and uh, I'll put that one as well so right around here 9.3 so yeah that is just uh, my roadmap right now guys then from there we'll get another retracement and you know it, it will definitely take some time guys to get to the 12k all right we're not just going there in in a matter of uh, one or two days okay um, that's just not how it goes it will definitely take some time and uh, that that's fine that's how the market works all right so that is just how the market works guys you have to get used to that and uh, I mean yeah it's uh, it's not looking bad okay so let's take a look at the six hour here oh we have a lot of stuff going on here now right uh, I can get rid of the fib extension for now um, six hour what do we see here do we see any bull Nah, not really no no bullish R side divergence but we do see a high low on the R side as well so it's looking okay right it's not looking extremely okay but it's looking okay um, and that's what we want to see also on the six hour 8.6 is obviously an area because we have some resistance there um, and uh, the, the, there's the Ichimo cloud and I mean you see that the if we get above this Ichimo cloud it's we just go a little bit above and then we'll go back in it and then yeah I mean it's this is looking pretty realistic the one two three and then four and then five for the nine point three and the other one is looking a little bit more bullish right that I showed you but uh, I like to be conservative guys so I'll uh, I'll keep this one on there all right so because I'm, I'm more of a conservative trader for sure I'm not one that's gonna tell you like you're going to get you know two three hundred percent not even on like altcoins I mean it's possible but to be conservative I would say you would get a hundred to 150 percent right because there's always conservative marks and there's like out, out outrageous marks right so um, 
yeah that, that is what we're looking at guys so anyways guys also if you're not in my telegram yet join up with the crypto price block where you can ask me any question you can ask other people questions it's just a great chat box to be in and uh thanks for this chart here crypto boss it looks uh looks pretty good uh on zilliqa so yeah um guys people are putting some nice charts here and then we had another one from crypto boss about ripple with the triangle so yeah i love to see you guys' charts right um i hope more people start charting in the channel because um, I just love to see it and I'll definitely give you some comments and see you know if, if it looks wrong to me I will definitely point it out you know but this one I cannot really find a flaw in there so you know it's it's a possibility so yeah um, also guys join up with the crypto pies feed where I post all my videos I post about upcoming ICOs um, yesterday I participated in Phantasma I sent my 10 NEO, got my tokens. Unfortunately, some people had trouble receiving their tokens. You know, they had some trouble with the contract or something, so it's postponed. Um, but uh, I'm sure, you know, they said these people will still have 24 hours to get them when it's up. So, uh, yeah, that's looking okay as well. And then uh, after that, they will announce when we can put our uh, other 50 NEO in for the. the the whitelist of people for the ICO, right? So, um, yeah, Phantasma, I'm definitely uh, glad I got my tokens at least, uh, at least for the 10 NEO. And uh, it, it wasn't too hard. I mean, I had some errors, but uh, that that I can't blame Phantasma for that. Not even for uh, their fault right now, because um, it's not their fault, guys. It's uh, Neon's fault, the Neon wallet. And uh, they're, they're working on it to resolve it. So, uh, yeah, it, it will be back soon. And uh, people will be able to participate so yeah guys um that's pretty much it both telegrams will be in the description below and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe hit that post notification button and if you've got any questions at all leave a comment below and i'll see you guys in the next video